I don't, we didn't start the game well, obviously lost a very early goal and I thought that kind of set us back and we just looked a bit edgy and I thought that um, Airdrie pretty much controlled the first half and Grant Adam made two or three very good saves and, and I think to be honest we were quite pleased again one nothing down at half time because the, I think the game could have been beyond us but we, we kind of rejigged it a little bit, not, not too dramatically but it's the first time that Boris and, and Dom had played together and mm -hmm. they, you know they weren't really in the same wavelength in the first half but we, we got them a lot closer together in the second half and I think we started to get up the pitch a bit more, a wee bit more threatening and um, obviously scored a, a terrific goal and then you know uh, there was a wee bit of controversy whether we thought it was it for a corner or not and I think we just get lost concentration and, and, and but after the second goal went in uh, I thought it was a terrific response from us, I think we could have felt sorry for ourselves. Um, but we didn't, we really took the game to Airdrie after that and although of course there's going to be one or two opportunities on the counter I felt that we, you know, we really um, tried to get that equaliser and even once we got the equaliser you could see us try to push for the winner we didn't settle, you know, we didn't slow the game down we tried to actually push on and there was a couple of good efforts particularly one from Ross near the end of the game where, where David Hutton's got a, a terrific save so, you know, overall uh, I'm, I'm pleased with the, the point but, um, as I say, consider I think um, you know the first half performance. You happy with the recruits you brought in? Jim? Yeah, I mean, again, as I say, it takes a bit of time um, to to get to know everybody. Partnerships take time, whether it's up front or whether it's at the back with, with Fergie and uh, and Henk. Um, you know, we got another injury today to Stuart Carswell, which is no ideal. But Ross Perry came in. I thought he done really well at right back when they came in. So you know, we're getting players back. Uh, we've got it's the first time really with options on the bench today. And um, obviously, Ben had a wee impact on the goal where he just gets a wee toe poke to it and a great finish from Dom. Getting Dom back is a bonus for us, you get a wee bit extra quality. So, um, yeah, listen, it's a difficult place to come and, uh, as I said, credit to Andrew for the first half performance, but I think credit to us, particularly for the last 20 minutes when we, you know, we showed a, a bit of desire and determination and, and um, to, to get something from the game. You've taken three points off Andrew in three yeah. games. Yeah, well, as I said, Airdrie's a you know, good team, and we are, as I said, we are looking for that consistency. And you can see the game kind of today, I think, kind of typified our season so far. We've had patches of good play, and patches of poor play, and I think that's that's been something that's has been you know been there all season. We need to be more consistent, not just during games, but game to game. Uh, we never know quite what we're going to get, but um, but today is the one thing we did get, even in the first half was desire and determination and I think you know that attitude kept us in the game and gave us a chance to get something from it. Is the break next week a bonus or a hindrance to you? I really don't know, it's one of those ones where the last time I, I preferred not to because we had so many injuries, this time I think I'd prefer to have the game. So in an ideal world you'd like to you now have a bit of momentum and try and get, a, try and get another game. Um, but listen, it's, it's what it is later in the cup and you know, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we might organise something. Um, but again, weather. The weather's the problem just now because forecast isn't great, and so we have to we have to take these things into consideration. So, what was your assessment that today, though? Um, also, a good point. Um, coming here is a hard place to come. Um, I felt first half we maybe didn't get out of the traps, but I thought second half we played much better football. Felt more comfortable in the game. Um, I thought when they scored, we were really comfortable in the game. Obviously, we boys have got a good attitude, so we're never going to chuck it, and um, we got that equalising goal that we needed, and a good point. The fans seem to really like taking you to Dunbar, and you're a bit of a favourite among them. Hey, how important is that to you? Oh, it's, it's great, obviously, if you've got the support behind you. Um, it's a good club with good people, so obviously the first time round I experienced that, and I know coming back again it would be the same. And It's just kind of, when we go out there on a Saturday, we're going out there for them at the end of the day. Clubs like Dumbarton are all about the supporters. Yeah. Nice goal. Yeah, it was. Um, obviously, you get the point as well. It was good. Uh, young Ben Almer's done really well when he came on. Um, showed determination to get the ball. Just a good wee touch through, and it's on my right foot. Um, I didn't know that was still working, but I uh, <laughs> just thought I'd have a go at it, and lucky enough, it ended up in the back of the net. The pitch looked a bit icy from a distance. What was it like to play on? It, uh, it was. It was very um, hard underneath. It was hard to kind of get your footing. Uh, especially over the, le uh, the left hand side, um, it, it seemed there was obviously still ice and kind of snow in the park. I'm actually surprised they passed the pitch inspection to be honest with you, but um, both teams have got to play on it, so you can't use that as an excuse. Um, and I thought we'd done well to get the point. 
Mm-hmm. Another good start from when you've come back, a point on the board and away from home. Yeah, that's it. Um, obviously, we always go out to get three points, but sometimes you come at hard places like Asherdry are doing well. Um, we pick up a point and we'll take that and take it into the following game. I thought we actually played some good stuff at times. First half in particular, we controlled the game very well. Some fantastic opportunities uh, to extend our lead. Um, but so disappointed um, with the point. I felt we deserved more than that. Um, and the goals we let in were, were sloppy. Small, small mistakes um, from certain players that I've been telling them for weeks that small things are the most important. Um, so, you know, we take it to the chin, but it's disappointing. We've, you know, we've a real opportunity to gain ground on, on ours. Dumbarton came and played really, really well today, so would that, do you think that maybe contextualises it a wee bit that it was, because they're in a wee bit of a false position, maybe it was a, a good point, or are you still kind of disappointed? Nah, with it? I don't think so. I think the positions are probably accurate of this time of the season. I said that to our players. We are where we are for a reason, because we're probably at the moment the sixth best team in the league. It's as simple as that. You, you don't get to this stage of the season and you're in a false position, that's for sure. Um, I'll go for top for a reason. They're the best team points to Grey Rovers are next. Um, so, as well as the bar we delighted with the point, of course, they'll be considering where they are. But I thought we played equally as well. I thought we passed the ball a bit well. We made numerous chances. Most people made it home for quite some time. So that's why we're disappointed. We knew it'd be a tough game as it was, as always is against Dunbar and against Jim Duffy's team. So I don't want to take anything away from their their point from away from home and their, and their goals that they scored as well were, were fantastic finishes. Um, but we're, de- we're deflated, we're disappointed with, with our own. Um, performance in the way that we, we kind of let them back into the game.